Hey Toy Fans, D21 Beast Rob here, back with another Mini Mate review for you guys here today. And today we're looking at the brand new wave of Wolverine Mini Mates available from Diamond Select. Now this particular wave is the Toys R Us exclusive version of the wave. So instead of having a Battle Ravage Wolverine and Hand Ninjas, we actually get the Tactical Wolverine and Marvel Now Magneto. This is a really cool looking set. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've received Mini Mate Mojo and probably Mini Mate Spiral as well. And it might actually even be the first time we've received a Mini Mate Weapon X Wolverine. Now the back of the packaging does feature a complete lineup of all the figures in this wave, as well as some bios for the figures inside. We have a bio for Weapon X Wolverine, Lady Deathstrike, Mojo, Spiral, Tactical Wolverine, and Marvel Now Magneto. All right, Bubs, well, that's the packaging. Let's get these guys out of the box and see what they're all about. All right, toy fans, here we have this wave of Mini Mates out of the packaging, and I'm going to spoil it right now. Buy this wave. There's a case to be made for the Wolverine and Magneto 2 pack to be skippable, and we'll address that in a moment. But hear me when I say, buy this now. All right, now let's first take a look at what, for my money, is the best two pack from this wave. Mojo and Spiral. Both of these guys are first time in the line, and this Mojo looks absolutely incredible. I love the way that the gut has been sculpted. We even get some stretched skin around the hooks on the bottom that hold on, or have the legs rather, hold on to his torso. Uh, we've got all of the detail we want on the back here. Look at that. It's painted in two different shades, lots of sculpted detail. I like the way that the uh, tail coming forward looks, all of those different little turrets or, you know, whatever those are that connect into computers. And then, of course, the helmet piece for this uh, Mojo figure is really cool. And it is a separate piece. They didn't make it part of his the rest of his body, so you can take that off if you want to. But lots of painted detail and sculpted detail there. The face of this guy looks every bit as disgusting as it does in the comics. This is a really cool mini figure. Now, you can actually stand him without the base and the bottom if you want to, but, you know, they've got it, and I guess if you're worried about paint rub or anything, you might as well just go ahead and plug that in. It doesn't hurt anything. He's completely posable, completely standable with that piece actually plugged into the bottom. Now, interestingly, we did get another display base in this box set. Uh, he doesn't have feet that you can actually plug that into, so I don't know if that was an accident or extra or what that is, but you're going to want to use the piece that actually came with Mojo if you didn't get a second standing display base. But I am a big fan of this guy. Having this mojo in my collection really makes me want to see what Diamond Select could do with some ex-babies mini-mates. Please make it happen. But then, of course, with Mojo, we've got his bodyguard, or at least one-time bodyguard. We have Spiral. Check out this minifigure, guys. What an accomplishment. Great sculpted detail on the helmet, clean paint for the hair. The torso detail looks great, and it extends onto the legs, even to the back of the minifigure here on the back. Uh, we've got a separate belt piece that's been painted, the fuzzy boots I like, and then all of these different arms and hands. Now, some of the arms actually have some line detail on the back of them. Otherwise, you just have silver paint for uh, arm bracelets and bracers around the arms. And then we have... Uh, some interchangeable hands. We've got the hands that we saw used with Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange, again used for uh, Spiral here, and they of course have translucent yellow plastic. We have two different sets of swords. This is a really cool figure that you can get in a lot of great poses. I love the versatility of this thing. But if you don't want to use the magic hands, never fear, you do also have a set of interchangeable plain hands. Mojo and Spiral are definitely my favorite two-pack of this wave, and I love posing these guys with the long-shot mini-mate we got back in the Australian Outback X-Men wave of minifigures, oh, about three or four years ago. Let's move on to the next two-pack. We've got Weapon X and Lady Deathstrike. This Lady Deathstrike is actually a redo of a Deathstrike we received around the beginning of the Marvel Minimates line. That one was much more basic. This Deathstrike looks fantastic. I like the clean paint on the legs for the lines there. We have drooping sleeves, which is really great. These hands appear to be the same ones that Mojo is actually sporting, just painted in her flesh tone. And then we have a torso with a lot of detail underneath. You can see here cloth and the sort of cyborg bits. But then we have these removable shoulders, of course, and the head looks exactly like it needs to. Uh, the the way they've sculpted the hair it doesn't get in the way of the head moving around. That is a removable piece, of course, but this is a really cool looking minifigure. Now, the only thing about my Death Strike is her feet. The holes are a bit wide, so I'm having trouble keeping her plugged into any sort of stand. Your figure might not share that same issue, but I thought it was worth noting with mine. And then we have Weapon X. This is a really cool looking minifigure. Uh, my biggest complaint about him is that the mouth appears to be just a bit low for the helmet, or maybe the helmet needs to sink further onto the head. But I do feel like there's too big of a gap between the lips and the eyes for this guy. But this is a really cool sculpted design. All the way around, it looks just like it did in the comics and in the 90s animated series. Uh, we've got these boxes hanging off the figure, and then the cabling coming out. I do wish that the cabling on the uh, front and the helmet was a little bit different. Uh, it does get in the way of this arm moving around. I wish it was more like this tube in the back that you could kind of just not worry about as you're trying to pose the figure's arm around. 
But you can see here we do have some hair detail on the figure, uh, on the actual chest of the figure. On the back, he's got the mus muscle detail actually continued, but a very ferocious looking minifigure. And you can pull that helmet off and consequently the uh, straps and the boxes and actually put on a shaggy Wolverine mane. This is different from the typical hairpiece that we see with Wolverines. I think it might be new to this figure. Uh, there's a more standard Wolverine hairpiece that we'll see with the uh, other Wolverine in this set. But really, this is a great looking minifigure. Lastly, let's go ahead and take a look at the Toys R Us exclusive two-pack from this wave. We've got the Marvel Now Magneto black version. I'm not sure if they ever made a white one. Maybe he was in a box set that I missed. This figure looks really great. Helmet comes off nicely. Um, we don't get a white hairpiece for this minifigure. I wish we did, but that's a great looking Magneto face. And then, of course, he just got all everything else you would expect as far as the detail on the costume. It's painted very nicely. I like that they went with a lighter color for the muscle tone, uh, you know, and kind of left the black as like the negative space. Uh, we've got an X-Men belt buckle that's painted pretty cleanly and then just some great paint detail coming down the legs. The paint detail is only continued onto the back of the legs of the minifigure. The actual back of the torso doesn't have any paint detail at all. And then on top of a standard Mini Mates display base, we also get a floating display base for this Magneto figure, similar to what we've seen with previous Magnetos in Mini Mate form. Now, the only thing is my Magneto doesn't stay as tightly on this stand as I would like him to, so he does tend to fall over whenever I put him on there. You're going to have to get your Magneto position just right so he's basically balancing on that peg. Uh, this is not a problem I have with my other Magneto Mini Mates, including the X-Men Days of Future Past Magneto and the one I got from the Mini Mates Dark Tide box sets. This may just be a case of the holes on the bottom of his feet being too big, like we've also seen with the Lady Deathstrike from this wave. Lastly, let's talk about that Tactical Gear Wolverine. This is a Wolverine that looks completely Rambo to me. He's got the red headband, uh, he's got a grizzled 5 o'clock shadow. Uh, the way he's actually just, the musculature is drawn or printed on this guy, he looks like a Wolverine straight out of the 80s. And there may be a specific comic book where he actually throws on a jacket and a military belt and has that red headband. Uh, none of my Wolverine comics from that era show that look. So if you guys recognize specifically which issues of the original Wolverine run this look comes from, let me know because I'd actually like to check out a comic with this version of Wolverine. And while it is cool to get a Wolverine with a comic specific look, I actually really wanted a brown Wolverine for my collection, just a standard brown Wolverine. Recently, I actually tried to order one off of Amazon and the person who sold to me sent me a variant brown Wolverine instead of the one I really wanted in the standard version of this two pack. So when I saw that this Wolverine was available and you could actually remove the vest and the belt and give this guy a mask and turn him into a standard brown and yellow Wolverine, I was super excited. And I love that you can do that with this minifigure. Diamond always thinks of these things. All right, toy fans, well, that's my review of the 2017 Toys R Us exclusive wave of Wolverine Mini Mates released by Art Asylum and Diamond Select. Overall, all three of these two packs are a great addition to your Mini Mate collection, especially if you're a fan of X-Men and Wolverine. You could make the argument that you don't need the Magneto and Wolverine 2 pack if you've already got a brown suit Wolverine or a Magneto, and that Magneto costume is now defunct. But both of the mini mates in that two pack are very well done, especially the Wolverine that allows you to alternate between two significantly different looks. So if you're going to pick up the other two sets in this wave, you might as well get that one too. Good on you, Diamond. Not a bad wave at all. And thanks for joining me, toy fans. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you appreciate me taking a look at these mini mates, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me. And if you like toy reviews and video games like I do, you might as well go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. You guys can always keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram at D21Beast, and I'll see you guys next time.